Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Very little is agreed upon universally in college football, but outside of the SEC, there's one thing that the rest of the nation has learned to detest, the chant of SEC, SEC. Usually that's because another team from that conference has won a national championship. A great showdown in the SEC is coming up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. McLaurin's a kid right now, Herbie, that I think a lot of people didn't know about maybe a month or so ago. Right now, he's starting to climb that ladder as one of the great ones in college football. There's certain points in a guy's career where they have an opportunity to kind of take that next step, and this young man has been able to do that. He's been given the opportunities to make big plays, and he's been able to capitalize on it. We'll see if that continues today. Are they going to get him the ball? And if they get him the ball, can he continue to make the big plays that this offense has really started to grow accustomed to? I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback but they're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football we've got a first and ten ball on the 42 Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 11-yard line. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. They make the stop at the 11. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and 10. to throw outside what a huge break for the offense he had his hands all over that ball he just couldn't bring it in Kentucky is looking to go up by three kicks away and it's good Reese Davis is standing by with this update Reese the Gators came into the game ranked 11th 
and now they're waiting to see how far they'll fall. So you think any team can just roll their headgears out in the middle of the field and everybody's going to fall over and bow down to them? No. A major upset is now final. Buckler's darn talent was evident. He had a couple of touchdown passes in this one. The Crimson Tide rolls 34-28. Meanwhile, the Hawkeyes were ranked 21st. They got the W, but it wasn't overly impressive. And for Iowa, they put together four straight wins. The Hawkeyes pull it out by a field goal. And for LSU, they just played the Crimson Tide a week ago. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 25. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. First and 10. Ball on their own 39. Got it and brought down immediately. That brings him second and five. The 40. Well, these days you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He lets it fly. They can't connect incomplete. And that will make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Johnson is the putter. Oh, man, did he take a hit. They're set to go for another round. Kentucky is up by three. Makes it out to about the 39. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He can run. He's at the 40. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. Here's an opening. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception.
First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. He gets sacked on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He steps up right around midfield. Kentucky's making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie, but do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team, but I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Second, and ten. Second down. They've got their backs against the wall. Kentucky is up a field goal. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That brings up third and ten. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. He really got a hold of that one. White fields it at the 48, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Get to that quickly. Inside the ten. Touchdown! This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. All right, let's check in on some games with major BCS implications. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Texas A&M, a win today would give them double figures in victory. Win number 10. 
And for McNamara, he is locked in. More than 400 yards through the air. 7-3 in this one. The Tigers is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. LSU's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for the That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught, and that's a first down. And he's level at the 42-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. From their own 42-yard line, first down. They hand it off again. He's taken down at the 44. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-3, LSU. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Going right to his tailback. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. Davis is the tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll make it third And here's another third down. at the 40-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. It's the ninth play of the drive. Forward to about the 26. Gaining three yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 26 yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Hey, no, look up. Hey, we got Mike 50, Mike 50, huh? Blue seven, go ahead. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Throwing the end zone touchdown. <laughs> Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers came into the game ranked seven. They're now bungee jumping and the court's going to break. And for Texas A&M, today's victory is number 10 on the year. The Aggies prevail by 13. Elsewhere, the Knights came into the game ranked 8. A hard-fought game. How high can they stay in the pole? So you went into this game thinking it was going to be an easy W? 
better think again. We've got an upset brewing. And for James, he pitched it around for more than 250 yards. Tulsa gets the victory, 31-21. And for LSU, oh boy, how big was that final just in. And they know now to keep their head above water. They need a victory today. He makes it to the 18-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They come out in a five-wide set. Complete brought down, nothing doing. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. bring him down around the 19-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. He's to the 40. The 50. Inside the 30 the 10 he scores what a play he holds in his second touchdown catch boy can really throw a wrench into a defensive scheme when you've got a back who's as good a receiver as this young man is Splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 82-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 42. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Two time, two time. Go down, go down. Watch 35, watch 35. And down he goes at about the 49. Falling back. 
incomplete. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. Williams, left side. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That makes it third and 11. So we're looking at another third down here. Throws complete. He's hammered. Kicks up, and he got it. Owen has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Brought down at the 18-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. LSU is up one. And he's taken down at the 23. Johnson picks up around five yards with that catch. Well, the Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check out, out there. Down, down. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 48. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's taken down at the 47. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none of this. That brings him second and five. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Slings it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 32. Call the game at 15 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32 yard line. Here we go. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That makes That's not an easy play to make. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Mike, LSU with a one-point lead. Quick pass. And he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Boy, it's a good job by the quarterback of recognizing the blitz and getting the ball out of his hands for a first down. But at the same time, I like to call from the defensive coordinator. He blitzed not one, but both cornerbacks. You got to love that aggressive call. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He 
gets rid of this one. From the 18 yard line, third down. Quick out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 18. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. We've played a half. The Tigers in front, 17-13. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. James Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both pass offenses lighting it up in the first half. They put up big numbers, averaging more than 10 yards per pass. David, I always hear this deal about how cornerbacks, all defensive backs, have to have a short memory. Yeah. Do you do you think these guys have a short memory? Of, are they able to get past what happened to them in the first half? They might want to get a shrink and erase their memory. That would probably be a good start from what they just put on tape. I mean, you got to forget that ever existed and come out and start playing some defense. And you know, usually you'd like to say, hey, we took away the deep ball. We took away the short ball. You know, we took away the immediate, the intermediate passing game. You didn't take away anything. Uh, first half, or first half, you did absolutely nothing right. Second half, put that behind you. Go see your favorite therapist. Come out in the second half. Play free. Have some fun. But goodness gracious, take something away. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbert. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. We're about set to start things up again. LSU is up by four. Tackle right around the 40. Gaining 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 40. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Take him down immediately. Moore makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Let's go, D. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Three, three, three. 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Bounces off a would-be tackler. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He tackles him for a loss. Two yard loss for the halfback. down and they need to get it down to the 39. LSU holds a four-point lead. And they got him. And for Hommeler, he's got two quarterback sacks now. What makes this an even bigger sack is it's now fourth down. sack it's now fourth and long McLaurin back deep to return tackle at the 24 yard line this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Catch first down, and he's knocked out. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Second and eight. Ball on their own 45. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackled for a loss. There was absolutely no space for him to run. The defense did a great job of reacting there. White awaiting the return. Booming kick. This punch goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Wildcats have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. LSU is up four. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. First down. Hit immediately. That makes it 
second and six. Second and six. Ball on their own 35. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. Johnson to punt. <laughs> They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quick toss. It falls incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. from the 42-yard line. First down. Brought down at the 31. his way to about the 18. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Nice run up the middle. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Three down, three down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Down. Yellow eight. Motion, motion. 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 Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 36. The Tigers have certainly had their opportunities to put this thing away. I don't think they can uh, say they haven't, but they haven't been able to do it. Well, it's just sloppy execution on offense. You know, whether they're turning the ball over or they're, or they're being forced to punt. 
this is just not an off chance right now in rhythm and they have they've blown their opportunities and now they got to hold on and hope that they can get out of here with a win here's a run they bring him down in the backfield From their own 36 yard line. Second down. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers lead it by one. Resume play here in quarter number four. Let's go, let's go. LSU up a point. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He steps out around the 36 yard line. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 36. Quick throw, and down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. McLaurin is back deep to return the punt. Fielded at the 19. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Caught with room to work. Out of bounds, around the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. the 43. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 40. Robinson gets it on the counter, and he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. That'll make it 39. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. It's 
that's caught first down and he's out of bounds. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Second and nine, 10 yards to the end zone. Here they come, touchdown, and that puts them on top. They'll go for two in this situation. yard drive and they get eight points after that two-point conversion Brad I thought that was a textbook drive I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive the score now 24 17 this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Got the corner. Dives, and he's down. That's good for a game. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He makes the catch and has a first down. And they push him out at the 37. That's a gain of three on the play. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle made at the 46. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets hit out of bounds at the 49 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 49 yard line. Got an opening. He's at the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 38 yard line. First down. out and the ball is up for grabs picks up the loose ball not a good time to fumble the football and that guy feels horrible about it he's got to forget about it go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game Gets out to about the 42-yard line. Hill gains around two yards there on the option. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. Five wide. Tackle at the 43. LSU is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Gets 
to about the 44-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Now it's fourth down, and these guys are going to have to punt this one away. So this game is really hanging in the balance right now. Cohen is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Tigers were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two minutes in the game. Here he goes. Makes it to the 37. Spikes the ball. Change your quarterback, Kirby. You got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Takes the ball right. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First down. Under pressure. Throws on a run, and he's got his wide receiver. That last pass got him only a yard. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. Taken down at the 49. Thomas makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. Check, check. That makes it first and ten. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it out in a hurry. This one will fall incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From the 49-yard line, second down. Just over a minute left. And he's going to come up with a sack. It's the ninth play of the drive. Throw. He's hit and taken down. He airs it out. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost them the possession. Whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 24-17, Wildcats. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.